saying hello today from my bike ride in Buenos Aires. I'm here on the bicycle as we speak with my local expert guide Robin from bikingbuenosaires.com, right? Correct. Perfect. And we're riding in a nice quiet area right now. Tell me more. This and it is, smells good uh, here too. It smells great. We wish you could be here to yeah. smell this because that's really what makes this area special. Um, this is the Bosques de Palermo, uh -huh. or the Palermo Woods. And there are over 12,000 species of flora and fauna in this area. Once again, influenced by Carlos Thais, which truly. Uh, this area over here, great weekend hangout for locals. And on the other side over there is the red light district. Oh, really? Buenos Aires. And that's where the transvestites come out at night. Mm -hmm. And it used to be back at the first lake, but the government has pushed them up here. So, if we were here at about 7 or 8 p.m. Uh, on a weekday or a weekend, they would all be lining up over on the other side of the park there. And that's now, is that, is that an area where you would tell tourists to stay away from? Is it highly unsafe or is it it's, actually... It's not, te it's not unsafe, but um, we don't advise that they go check it out. But yeah. they're not the, the prostitutes or the transvestites, they're not going to hurt anybody. Okay. They're just doing their job, that's their work, mm -hmm. and there is a market here for it. Okay. Uh, surprisingly so. But over here, we, this is the train tracks. Mm -hmm. um, these train tracks will lead you up to Tigre, mm -hmm. which is a nice little town on the River Delta. Go up about 45 minutes outside of the city here. All the buildings over there, um, that's Las Canitas, it's starting into Belgrano. Uh -huh. And so where we're heading now is up to the second lake here and these lakes are man-made and they were dug out to build up the train tracks here so the train oh. tracks can be elevated and in order to get out of the city so they are man-made lakes and a lot of these trees here are uh, eucalyptus trees yeah you mentioned that but Australia. they're not native uh, to Argentina they're not native to Argentina okay no. yeah they were brought in from Australia and another project uh, from Carlos Thais and many of these trees there are several native trees here uh, ones we'll show you further up here. One is a floss silk tree, mm -hmm. and it looks kind of like an avocado tree. They have big uh, balls that come out, and if you break it open, it's just silk inside. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So hopefully we'll see some along the way. Very this interesting a, fauna and flora here, yeah. Yeah. Looks like a rubber tree, big rubber tree. Yep. Rubber trees uh -huh. are native here, and this is a... Uh, not native here, but there are many no, uh, rubber trees around here. Mm -hmm. There's a tennis club right over here. Oh, yeah. And is tennis big here? Because I know uh, there's is. a few famous tennis uh, players from Argentina. Yeah, Juan del Potro. Yeah. Yeah, and it's becoming a bigger sport. Yeah. It's gaining in popularity. But yeah. I guess it, I would imagine soccer is the one, right? Soccer is it. Yeah. That is life here. Football. Football. They call it. Yeah. Yes. So and, uh, what's what's the mo most famous soccer club here? Is it Boca, Boca Juniors? Boca Juniors. Correct. Yes. Do you have more than one national team in Buenos Aires, or is it just the one? Uh, we have the one national team. Uh huh. Our Boca Juniors is a club. Oh, our club. Yes, yes, yes. And River Plate is their rival. Oh, River Plate. So that's River right. Plate yeah. Is they did pretty bad last year, and they descended. Now they're down in the lower level. Oh no. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big that's a big blow. Exactly. See, he holds up his hand and the car stop. I like that. And here's another one. We're gonna take it here. Okay. Oh, nice. Very cool. Follow him. See, riding with one hand as usual. And this is a nice spot. Cool. All right, we'll come back with the yerba mate, typical Argentinian drink.